I am Dr. Srinivas Abhishek, consultant pediatrician and neonatologist, Suraksha Hospital, Kompalli and Srinidhi Children Clinic, Sikindrabad. Uh, today on the occasion of World Digestive Health Day 2023, I want to put uh, something on focus that is uh, one of the most important systems of the body that is the digestive system or the gastrointestinal tract or simply in one word we say the gut so now gut has a lot of importance uh, just like uh, in the history hippocrates had said it before that all the diseases start at the gut and now the gut is on the forefront of the research where uh, we say that the gut is a second brain that is the most second important mentally also just not physically and uh, here at this point, I want to tell regarding the digestive system that almost worldwide, there are around 40% of the population that is uh, affected in some way or the other with uh, digestive system problems. And particularly the major group being the pediatric group and more so the infants and the toddlers uh, in that group. And what are the symptoms for that we see? Be it the hyperacidity, constipation, diarrhea, all these things we frequently come across. And uh, here, like as according to the theme, that is your digestive system, that is uh, healthy gut starts from the start. That means the early intervention is very important for the gut. And uh, that here I want to do the emphasis. How do we do this uh, interventions and all these things? So. Just not about the local problems, that is the gut related, be the indigestion and stomach pain and all these things, but also it uh, the gut help helps in uh, maintain of the other things also, be it the uh, not being fatigued, not having any tiredness, being mentally well and all these things. So as a pediatrician, what I advise to the parents is there are trillions of bacteria in the gut. And uh, this has to be maintained in a good way so that it just not it, uh, it does not uh, uh, just help in the short term benefits but also in the long term benefits also for a good mental and physical makeup. So here what are the uh, things that has to be borne in mind? So the interventions what I say is it starts at the birth that, that, that is the breastfeeding of your baby which is, helps in uh, this uh, healthy gut. And the kind of diet we give, be it the importance on the fiber diet and cutting down on the fatty foods. And also we should encourage the children to go out, play and have a physically active life. As well as we should give very small and frequent meals rather than just a heavy and uh, uh, lesser meals. Uh, not just the dinner and uh, breakfast and lunch, but we should just add on a snack where uh, we give small quantities more frequently and the child should not be sleeping immediately after the dinner or something but should have a gap of one to two hours later on and all not just these things the other things would be uh, giving lots of water and uh, adding on the probiotics probiotics is on the forefront we all know the role of probiotics in uh, diarrhea in shortening the duration and uh, the uh, severity of diarrhea there's lots of research going on in uh, probiotics for uh, uh, the role of it in uh, asthma and cancers and all these things and the probiotics are added into all the food stuff so we should uh, try to opt more for probiotics and uh, another important thing is uh, not using antibiotics just like the over-the-counter antibiotics just any cold cough or anything just going to the medical shop and taking the antibiotic and using it so always restrict the antibiotics for a good healthy gut and uh, finally as a pediatrician i want all parents to pledge for uh, that the parents would invest uh, in their child's healthy gut so that it will uh, help in just not the short term benefits but also on the long term benefits be it the physical as well as mental health of their child 
which will help in the long way for uh, the preventing the morbidity of the child not uh, missing on the school and having a healthy late life later on thank you